Hi, in this uh, quick video, I'm going to go over how to use Anaconda. Anaconda is something I'm using when I'm working with ML agents in Unity to do artificial intelligence. And the reason I have to use Anaconda is because it is something that could run Python. And the ML agents library is written in Python code. So here's an Anaconda installation. And when it gets installed, it has a navigator, which is the graphical user interface. But sometimes I may just want to go to the prompt straight away instead of having to go through Anaconda Navigator. But I will start up Anaconda Navigator just so you can see how it starts up that way. So it takes a while to start up. And that's part of the reason why um, I just wanted to go straight to the prompt. Because starting up the Anaconda Navigator GUI, it takes a while. As you can see here, it takes a while to start. Now, here in the GUI, I have uh, it's easier to navigate around. It's the navigator. But in the environments, this is where I kind of did an installation of the ML agent Python code that I downloaded from GitHub. And um, what I did was I created an environment and I referenced the environment to point to the folder where I downloaded the ML agent Python code. And that environment I created is here. It's ML agents 16. And just clicking on this takes a while. I'm only using 16, and then from this triangle, I can open a terminal, and voila, I get a terminal, and it's running the ML Agent 16 environment, right? So that's one way, but you see, it took a while to get there. So a faster way, I just closed all that stuff, is if, and let me just shrink down my Unity window. A faster way, I guess, would be to just go straight to the prompt. So I go to Anaconda 3, and I just run the Anaconda prompt, and when it opens up, it's just going to be a base that's not actually my ML Agent 16 environment yet. But I could type the word conda, enter, and I could see some help for the conda command. Okay? But the command that I do want to run is conda, and then I give it, um, what I say, activate, and then I tell it what to activate. It's the ML Agent, ML Agent 16. That was the name of my environment that I created in Navigator, and I press enter, and now I'm in the ML Agent 16 environment. And, you know, I clear the screen. And then I can start off doing my Unity stuff. I just have to get the path here for my assets folder. And then I can just put that here with the change directory command. So that now my ML Agent 16, it's running from this directory and all the things that I'll do, it will just pump them out into my Unity game assets folder. So that's a, another way to start up the uh, the ML Agent's um, environment. Thank ya. That was a short one, huh? You made it to the end of the video. I'm so proud of ya. This is my website. The main thing I want to show you is that for any of these videos that you've seen on YouTube, I have the tutorial section, which has the blue links for the projects, and the orange links are the files. Also, you could go over here and play some of the games we made in the game camp.